The principal advantage of the British Army is that it was highly trained and highly disciplined, at least compared to the American Army at the time. The even greater advantage that the British have is in their naval superiority. There is no nation on the earth that can compete with the British on the high seas. The Americans don't even try to compete with the British on the high seas. They have to resort to privateers, commerce raiders, who go off and pick off individual ships. There is no American Navy that's able to contend with the British in a symmetric contest of arms during this conflict. The British Army is one of the best armies in the world, and it is the army on which the Continental Army models itself. And so George Washington looks at the British Army and does not see some kind of antiquated vestige of a bygone era of warfare. Quite the contrary, he sees the model of an army that he wants to emulate. And in the winter of 1777, 1778, he, with the help of many advisors, including European officers, most famously Baron von Steuben, try to recast the Continental Army into the mold of the British regular army.